Hey guys, welcome back. So today is one of my favorite types of videos to film and it is a budget plant shopping video. We're going plant shopping today. We're gonna see what we can find at some different shops, but we are doing it on a budget. Now you voted what you think my budget should be today and you chose $50. So this is the most that we've had on a budget video so far. So I went ahead and called Trader Joe's. I have been given permission to film their house plants. They are all outside. So I'm really, really excited to see what they have. You guys have been telling me over and over again that Trader Joe's has great, great house plants. I haven't seen them when I've been out shopping. I think I've just been going to the wrong Trader Joe's. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there are some good house plants there. I'm also going to Black Hawk Nursery. It's been a while since I went plant shopping there um, and they always have good house plants, usually for a great price. I can find some different ones for under $10. And based on our budget, we'll probably check out a few more spots. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is for crazy plant people, like I always say. And if that puts a smile on your face and you are a crazy plant person like the rest of us in this community, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video and it will show up in your newsfeed. I do post about twice a week and I'm also on Instagram and if you like my channel you will love my Instagram because I do post on there daily at least on my story and there's no way I would be able to film all these videos if it wasn't for amazing sponsors like our sponsor today and I am thrilled. This is a company that I have used every single day for years and years so I was really really excited when they agreed to team up with me and it is audible. <laughs> oh, I am overjoyed. I'm going to share a few audiobooks that I have really enjoyed recently. And for those of you that don't know, at Audible, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks ranging from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, language, businesses, motivation. Please let me know in the comments if there are any audiobooks you recommend. I'm always looking for suggestions. I'm also thinking of doing a book of the month or something like that. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in the comments. For any of you that have watched the Outlander series, um, if you haven't, go watch it. And if you have loved it, let me just say the entire series on Audible is even better. It has almost 70,000 reviews, almost five stars on Audible. The actors that narrated it did such a great job. Literally, the entire series is chef's kiss amazing. I also really enjoy comedian biographies. I'm a big fan of comedy and it's well known that comedians usually use humor to mask and work through difficult challenges in their lives and most have fascinating stories to tell. Some that I've enjoyed recently are Yes Please by Amy Poehler, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, I'm Fine by Whitney Cummings, The Last Black Unicorn by Tiffany Haddish, I Can't Make This Up by Kevin Hart, Rabbit by Patricia Williams. I also recently listened to Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology by Leah Romini. I thought that one was really interesting. Every month audible members get one free audiobook and full access to the plus catalog i did not realize in all my years of having an audible membership that we have access in addition to our run free audiobook to their plus catalog which includes thousands of audiobooks podcasts audible originals guided fitness and meditation programs sleep tracks i mean I'm so, so excited to find out that I have access to this whole new side of Audible I didn't even know about before. Um, new Audible members get a 30-day free trial. Visit www.audible.com slash Ashley Anita or text Ashley Anita to 500-500 to try out Audible today. They have so many beautiful plants here. I'm so glad that I'm able to film this for you guys. Um, the last location that I went to on Ray Road did not have a lot of plants the last time, so I wasn't sure what to expect. But this location on Metropolitan Avenue, and I will include the address um, in my description, they just have so many house plants I can't wait to show you guys. So they have these beautiful daffodils in these um, glasses for $2.99. Can you believe that? Oh, so, so beautiful. To be honest, I'm tempted to buy one. It just gives me all the feels of spring. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful these blooms are. I cannot get over how gorgeous they are. They don't look like regular daffodils, so they must maybe be like a special kind. Okay, they're called Bridal Crown. Hmm. And then they also have Mini Yellow. Then they have these beautiful begonias. They must be in five inch pots for $6.99. Um, again, um, this is like the spring vibe section. Oh my gosh, look at this rose. <gasps> I cannot get over that. Look at that beautiful bloom. I love the white and the red. Maybe I'll end up getting like 
some like spring flowers for my kitchen. Oh, this is so beautiful. They have some of these gorgeous like um, cyclamens for $3.99. All different colors, really, really healthy. Absolutely beautiful. So many great choices. Look, they have wild poppy. These are actually, from when I was younger, one of my favorite, favorite types of flowers and plants. Wild poppy grow kit. Huh. And they are $6.99. That is so cute. Really, really cute. What they're calling assorted flowers here. Look how beautiful. They have some stunning um, grafted cacti. I love, love, love the color. They almost look like little astrophytum babies. They're not, but I love the like lime green color of that. Stunning. They have some Helleborus. <laughs> Again, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. For $9.99. Look at these blooms. And they have different colors. They have the purple ones and the white ones. They almost look a little bit like passion fruit flowers. So pretty. There's some cat grass here. Always, always appreciated. Kitties love this if you haven't already gotten some of this for your cat. Um, they just go crazy for this stuff. These succulents are a great deal. They have absolutely huge ones here for $5.99. And they come in really, really adorable terracotta pots. Um, the fact that you can get a pot and a large size succulent for $5.99 is a great deal. And then they also have some smaller ones here as well if you don't want to get a large one. And then they have succulent gardens for $7.99. Look how beautiful these are. I love the ones that have like this in them because they look like little roses. And then this one is so fuzzy and cute. Oh my gosh, look, they have the string bean um, peperomia here. I think that's what this is. Um, and these are $6.99. That's actually kind of tempting. I've never seen such a big one that, and I mean, it literally looks like string beans, doesn't it? Look at these beautiful, um, wow, these Easter cactus are so vibrant, so stunning. Just a great, great house plant. They're super fast growers, really easy care. And I love how they come in all different colors. So these are only $3.99. Look how vibrant and colorful they are. Such a great deal. They have a bunch of different types of peperomias. All of these are peperomias. They're all different types. They're $7.99. They come in like a nice, maybe five inch pot. They have variegated obtusifolia. Um, all sorts of cute little ones. Oh, this one is actually really fuzzy. They have a beautiful Alocasia fry deck here. Look how gorgeous this one is. I lost mine uh, during the move. It got spider mice. I didn't have time to really take care of it. Um, and I've actually kind of sworn off alocasia right now, but I've always said if I found a nice one of these that I would give it another shot and just proactively treat it for spider mite, maybe with some Jack's Dead Bug Brew. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really tempted to get this one. Um, it's a six inch one. It has a little bit of damage, but I don't know. I think I might have to get it. It looks like it's the last one. Hmm. And I'll just keep it separate from my other plants and keep it treated. But it's so beautiful. I'll probably put it in my bathroom. Like, look how beautiful and velvety those leaves are. Then we have some beautiful, some other really pretty alocasias. Gorgeous syngonium. Um, I don't see a price on these. 
stunning six inch fern, rattlesnake calathea, looks like some calathea, some variety similar to a medallion. It has that pink, that pink down the middle, which means it's like a different variety, but it does have that classic purple underneath. Bird's nest fern, oh my gosh. Oh no, I thought that was black velvet alocasia for a second. We have some variegated ivy, some more peperomia, really pretty succulent, all sorts of jade. And it says these are $7.99. Look how cute this Tratoscantia zebrina is. This is a pretty fern. This is a blue kangaroo paw, I think. No, mate, blue, blue star fern, my bad. Wow, look how shimmery this Tratoscantia is. Here we have some oxalis, or some shamrocks, perfect for this time of year. I love them. This eucalyptus is great for, to hang in your shower um, and it just provides a really refreshing smell during. Okay, so I just finished up at Trader Joe's and oh my gosh, you were so right. They had so many amazing houseplants. I had no idea. I was actually told that this isn't even their like big spring shipment yet. So I'm definitely going to be back checking out to see what they have. I actually managed to find a wish list plant while I was there. I was like, couldn't believe it and I only spent eight dollars so I still have forty two dollars to spend I'm really excited so I'm at my second spot which is Black Hawk Nursery I always seem to find something I love while I'm here but let's continue our budget plan shopping and see what we can find Here we have a Tratoscantia, absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure which variety it is. Maybe though like white velvet kind, it does have the fuzzy leaves that you see with that sometimes, but it might not be because it does have some purple on the back sides, but it's huge, like absolutely massive for $24.99. Such a steal, absolutely gorgeous. always have such a beautiful assortment of pottery here and I love this face pot with this gorgeous syngonium. I wonder what kind of syngonium this is. Like look how pretty. Oops. Look how pretty that is. It's kind of different from any syngonium that I have. And it's $9.99. That's a maybe. I love 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 syngonium. I just love how the leaves are so dark and then it has that beautiful white stripe down the center. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm kind of feeling it in this face pot. <laughs> this is the cutest little ficus. Look at that little baby ficus. And this pot is just divine. There are a few alocasia flying squid here for $19.99. We have some ivy, another syngonium back there. Ooh, look at this begonia. So my last video, I had begonia madness where I bought up a bunch of begonias and I think I'm gonna make like a begonia wall or begonia corner and look at this one. Oh my gosh, I am feeling these leaves. What kind is this? Rex Breakdance. I love this. And it is $9.99 for this five inch pot. I really like that. Here's another Rex Begonia. So beautiful. Hmm. Bird's nest fern. Ooh, here we have a um, Crimson Princess. 
which I actually had to get rid of mine. $24.99. I'd love to get another one of those. Ooh, here we have another Begonia, Rex Begonia Breakdance. Wow, look at this staghorn fern. It is so lush. I don't want to pull it out and disturb it. So beautiful. They have another one of these staghorn ferns over there. Beautiful ivy. And so many awesome planters. Have a great day. Here we have a tetrasperma, a little baby one. So cute. These grow so fast. They're so easy and they grow like mad. I'm sure it's less than $10. Another Rex Laconia. Their staghorn ferns today are legit. Look at this one. So beautiful. So nice. Here we have some little misters, adorable. Looks like a little birkin, some really cute fern, alocasia. Ooh, wow, this blue star fern is really, really nice. Mm, I'm feeling that one. We have some nice size um, alocasia maharanis here. The texture of these leaves are next level. So beautiful. Here we have this blue, um, blue star fern and it's 24, so it's within our budget today. And I've been eyeing these for a really long time. Let's maybe some more ferns. Cute little crocodile. I don't have one of these. And I always admire the texture of the leaves. $8.99. That's a great deal on that. Hmm. Lots of beautiful ferns. Wow, look at those orchids. They're so big and tall, gorgeous. Some philodendrons. Looks like a lemon lime over there. Raphidophora tetraspermus. There's some Brazil. Wow, look at this birkin. This has to be one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Some more philodendrons. Look at that Rex begonia. It is so beautiful. We have some more down here. Looks like a red imperial. Prince of Orange and Lemon Lime over here. Another red imperial. I just noticed this really adorable terrarium setup that they have here. I am feeling it through and through. Look how cute. They have some Fitonia in there and Peperomia. Looks like Peperomia Hope. There's some Marantas. Ivy begonias, all sorts of cute stuff. And I have to say, like, I just like the way that looks. Anyways, look at these begonias. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. And this one I've never seen before. It has these really cute spots all the way around. It's clearly a type of Rex begonia. It even has a spiral. This is a maybe. Let me see. $19.99. Hmm. I am feeling that plant. All right, okay, so here we have some more begonias. Really nice large size ones. This one is Jur Jurassic Green Shriek, beautiful. Now I am kind of feeling this one. It just has like little polka dots all over it. And this one is a Jurassic Junior. Jurassic Junior Purple Speck. So cute. I love them all. But I am really feeling this one over here. Whoa, look at this Mac Daddy Cane Begonia. <gasps> Sorry. <coughs> I like choked myself. I got so excited. It's so big. Look at that. Wow, I wonder how much that one is. Ooh, they have some Australis up here. The Australis are 36. They have a bunch of hanging ones. There's another Tradescantia. Looks like there's a ton of Hoya over there. Let's go take a look. Australis Lisa, not, I'm sorry, just Hoya Australis there. Then we have some Hindu rope for 16. Some little Carrii. <laughs> 
bromeliads. It's a beautiful philodendron. I love the red of that leaf. Ponytail palm. A trio star, some really cute calatheas. I like love these little baby ones. They're so adorable. We have an orbifolia. We have a green maranta. I'm keeping my eye out for a variegated version of this. I think that's the kind of this I'd like to get, although I am kind of sworn off calatheas right now, just from my lack of seemingly being able to take care of them properly. Here we have some really, really cute peperomias. Let's see. Piccolo for $12.99 in four inch pots. But look how tall they are. So cute. Here we have some watermelon peperomias for $12.99. And actually, I was just looking at this one. This one's nice and it has variegation on there. I might get this one for my, um, like look how nice that is. I might end up getting this and putting it in my little watermelon planter because I, um, I do have one watermelon, I do have a variegated watermelon peperomia from Cactus Club, but it's quite small and uh, ooh, only $9.99, perfect for the budget. And I gifted my watermelon peperomia to a friend that I got from here before. And I am feeling that variegation, so. Hmm, I just really like that. So cute. Okay, <laughs> put this one to the side. Let's see what else we have here. Cute little ripple pet for $12.99. I was just admiring the backsides of these leaves. Like, look at that. It's so beautiful. Here you have some Pilea peperomioides. Looks like a frost. So nice. Some beautiful bromeliads. Some more really, really nice Maharani's. So beautiful. These Syngonium are absolutely massive. <laughs> so huge. They even have like a little pole. Beautiful peace lily, china doll, Aurelia. Some really, really nice snake plants. Cute little pottery. These little snake plants are $14.99. I like this one. I think this one's called like a flame. Green flame, maybe? Um, it's $19.99. Now, they have such a wonderful selection of ferns. They're not all labeled as the different kinds. Um, but they have a really, really nice assortment. This one is an autumn fern for $10.99. $7.99 on these asparagus ferns. So beautiful. What kind is this? I always have my eye out for a, um, a blue oil fern. They have a lot of really nice air plants. So cute. Cute little polka dot plants. And look at these little animal planters. I really like the squirrel one. I think 
That's so cute. For 12. They always have a nice assortment of cacti and succulents here. I think these are really neat. Like They're so prickly. <laughs> you see how prickly these little guys are? I don't know what kind they are, but they're $11.99. Some little baby ones here. Wow, look at this aloe, it's so white. String of uh, dolphins here. Wow, look at this huge crown of thorns. This beautiful mistletoe cactus, red mistletoe for 42. Some pretty little African violets here. They are 9.99. After finishing up at Blackhawk, I had $4 left, so I decided to check out a thrift shop nearby called Value Village to see what I could find for planters for $4. Ooh, so it looks like there's all sorts of good stuff here. I cannot wait to see what we find. This is a little planter, and this is one of my all-time favorite things about shopping at thrift shops is that you can find amazing, amazing pottery that's done, um, you know, individual pieces done by artisans and artists in pottery. This one says CO4638. I mean, does that mean this is pieces from 1938? I mean, I don't know. That's a maybe, it's, it's cute, it's purple. Um, so yeah, that's a maybe. See what else we can find. I wonder how much this is. They don't have, I don't see. Now some of these things I don't see prices on. So, I don't know, I guess if we see something we'll love, I'll just figure it out. This is cute. Hmm. I like this one for propagations. Like, does this mean it's $2? I don't know how to tell the price in here. Wow, this is kind of cool for my plant room. I like that. I've been wanting some like, but it's not real crystal, but I've been wanting some crystals and stuff for my room. Oh, look. We have some little pots from Ikea. Comes in a set of three. Hmm. What is this? Hmm. Huh. I don't see anything that's like super jumping out at me yet. Like that's kind of cool.
comes with two. Oh wow, look at this thing. Does that mean it's $6? It's kind of a, a sculpture. That's a really nice sculptural piece. We've got some red ones back here. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff here. That's really cute. Hmm. That's super cute. Lots of like little glassware. These are great for little water props if you want to use it for that. This one's kind of, I like Jack Daniels. I find anything that's like candle holders is great to use for planters as well. Hmm, this one's cool. Let's see, there's so much to look at here. So I'm just gonna keep going through. There's an actual planter back there. It's red. Maybe nice for like outside. Smith and Hawk. This thing's cute. It's this pocket change. And it's cute. It's real silver and it has a little stamp and everything, 212. Gosh, this place is massive and has loads of good stuff. Look at all this. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go get a cart. So here we have lots of cute glassware. Look how different. Yeah. And then I think this is nice. I don't know what it is. Like, what is this? But I think it would be cute to put plants in. So I love the natural wood look. There's all sorts of little like shelves and stuff. Like here's a shelf. Little cutting board there. They have lots of little baskets on here and there's a whole section still of wicker baskets to show. Here are some really cute wicker baskets. Let's take a look and see if there's anything like this one's kind of different. I like that one. <laughs> That's so cute. That is correct. Corgis are amazing. Wow, look at this nice one. I think that means it's six dollars. Pretty. Hmm, this one's okay. So much stuff that I just, I don't even know what it is. A little planter there. They do have a lot of shelves here, which like this is a little hanging shelf. Like there's stuff like shelves you don't normally see. So I'm back in this section now that I've kind of given the store a once over. I like this. Um, it would be easy to put a plant in there. And I think that means it's 80 cents. So if it was signed on the bottom, um, then I might consider getting it. But I think it's just like a mass produced piece. So I don't know, I might pass on that one. I think this is kind of neat. It's basically a terracotta pot. Um, <laughs> Ideal use at home or on safari because those are our two options clearly here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, <laughs> Henry Watson pottery and I love that it's made in Portugal. Like 313, that's kind of fun. I could definitely put a plant in there. <laughs> fun. This is kind of an interesting piece. Like, that's kind of fun. And I also found this one. Like, that's actually really cute. I like the pastel vibes. Like, it says Cusin maybe for $1.21. Like, you put a little plant in there. 
You could put a little plant in there and that would be cute. Hmm. All right, so it is the haul portion of this video. I've just arrived home and I had a blast shopping at both of the plant shops and also Value Village. They had some great stuff. First stop was Trader Joe's and I'm very surprised I bought this plant. It's one of the few types of this plant that I'd be willing to buy since I'm not getting them anymore, but I couldn't say no. I loved the one that I used to have that died. It's this beautiful Alocasia fry deck. I just love the way this plant looks and I have to say the one that I had before, I had it for a really, really long time and uh, I loved it and, and I do miss it so much. Now this plant looks like it needs a little bit of TLC, but it does have a lot of new growth. As you can see, it had like a little snappage there, but I'll probably just trim that leaf off so that it can dedicate energy to the rest of its leaves. and. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious all the things that are so awesome about this plant. First of all, look at the shape of these beautiful leaves. I mean, absolutely stunning. I don't know what you would call this color, like maybe an emerald green. Um, it's just such a luxe, beautiful color green. It's so incredibly gorgeous. And then the leaves are velvety. So I'm a big fan of Alocasia Friday. Now I'm just kind of staying away from Alocasia right now because they're so prone to spider mice and that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and treat this probably with a little bit of Jack's Dead Bug Brew um, just so that I can be proactive and, and get rid of any pests that may be on here and prevent it from getting spider mites. Cause I think that's the way to go with alocasias. Um, because in my experience, they will get it. It's just a question of when. I cannot believe I found this one for $7.99. It's massive. I mean, all the other ones I've been seeing around, it's like $25 for a little tiny baby one. And it has tons and tons of leaves. You can see in the soil there, like all the little green stems shooting out. That's all brand new growth. There's so much going on with this plant for $8. That has to be the best deal ever. I mean, look at the size of this leaf. It's completely massive and so so beautiful so yeah this was a great find at Trader Joe's it was the only one there but they, I was told that they're going to be getting a new shipment of all sorts of stuff for spring so uh so yeah maybe keep an eye out there so next up is Black Hawk Nursery and they always have amazing plants for great prices and I was told that by the time this video is out which it should be out in a few days from now um that they will have received a brand new shipment of lots and lots of plants in. So first up is this watermelon peperomia and at first it looks just like any other. Absolutely bursting full of new growth. Such a happy plant. I don't have just a regular watermelon pep um, because I gifted it to somebody. So yeah when I saw this one I was like oh perfect for my watermelon planter and then I noticed that it has variegation in there and it has a lot of variegation and it's beautifully variegated in my opinion. Um, I love the way that the leaves look. Let me pull it aside so you can see some of the variegated leaves. Okay. So here's a, so here are a couple more variegated leaves. It has like a pretty one right here. So lots of beautifully variegated leaves. And I just love this watermelon peperomia. They're a great plant. Um, I can't wait to put this one in my watermelon planter. It's so lush and it was only $9. So yeah, that was a great find. It even, ha it even has a little flower it's putting out as you can see right there. The leaves obviously look like watermelons and then it has those be beautiful red stems. So this was a great find. The fact that it was variegated was an he was a big bonus on there. So next up is this Rex Begonia Break Dance. Now I have been experiencing begonia madness. People usually either love begonias or hate begonias. I love them. And uh, I have to say that most of them do pretty well for me, especially this Rex Begonia type. This Rex Begonia Break Dance is no exception. First of all, can we just appreciate these beautiful dark leaves? I am a big fan of some dark foliage and that is what we have going on here. Look at that flower. Or boop boop. I am in love with the shape of these leaves. They're such a cool shape. I love how when they get larger, they get this like lime green streak down the center. Look at the back sides of those leaves. Absolutely stunning. They're very fuzzy stems, which is really cool. I just, I don't know, they're iridescent, so they have a shimmer to them. I'm just a, really like into these types of begonias right now. This one was $9.99. And that's one of the things that I'm really enjoying about these begonias is houseplants have gone up so much in price that it's 
you know, it's hard to find a really awesome one for $10. And I like appreciating this moment that I have right now with begonias and being able to like find, usually find them for a good rate around here because they'll probably be going up in price eventually like all these other plants. So um, I'm definitely gonna be doing some cool stuff with my begonias and think I'm gonna do like a begonia corner or wall. So I am scooping up all the ones that I can find right now that I love. So it almost has like a candy cane stem which I really appreciate. So yeah, any cane begonias, angel wing begonia, rex begonia, I'm like totally feeling it right now. Okay, this beautiful plant is the next one that I got. I paid $20 for it and I think it was worth every single penny. It is so lush, so full. Um, again, it is a type of rex begonia. I am obsessed with it. I, it doesn't say what variety it is. If you know, please leave it in the comments below, but I just, love it so much i mean first of all look at that dark foliage with that purple and it's so shimmery and then i was in love with the way it had like it has little pink dots all around it i just couldn't believe that and it also has like a cool little jaggedy edge to the to the sides of the leaves and it has a swirl as well so i don't think it's a t you know necessarily an escargot begonia but as you can see it has like a little swirl in the middle so so beautiful when i saw this one i just flipped out immediately and knew that i had to add it to the begonia collection it's so so beautiful and it has those like rex begonia backsides of the leaves and the fuzzy stems that i love so much so after purchasing those four plants i had four dollars left to pick up maybe some planters and as you saw valley village was a thrift shop close to where i was so i went in there to see what they had for pots and uh yeah let me show you what i got this was perfect for a plant um i can just use it as a cash pot so i don't know what it's for maybe like a mortar and pestle or something like that it has like the perfect amount of space in there to put a plant and i did buy something else so i went over you know a couple of dollars I got this basket. I think it would look great with a plant in it. It's a perfect size. Um, you know, to be able to find a planter for $3, I mean, get out. That's absolutely amazing. And then the last thing I got is this really cool, um, it's this terracotta thing. It's technically a wine cooler. Sometimes I like repur repurposing stuff that's meant for one thing and I like use it for plants. So I could always use this as a as a cash pot. I'm hoping this red comes off um, where it has the price on there. I'm planning to maybe just scrub that off, but I thought that was pretty cool as well. Um, I like like the neutral ter terracotta color, but that it has, it says some interesting stuff on there. So that was plant shopping on a budget. True to form, I went over by a few dollars, but I am obsessed with all of the stuff that I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have all sorts of awesome content coming out. Oh my gosh, like so much exciting stuff to share with you guys. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know which plant you would have chosen if you would have been plant shopping with me today. Did you like what I chose? Would you have chosen something different? I always love and appreciate your feedback. A huge thank you again to Audible. I can't believe Audible sponsoring. I'm like, for shook. A huge shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. So incredibly exciting. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Like I said, I do post twice a week. And look me up on my Instagram as I post on there all the time. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll definitely be seeing you soon. Bye. Oh.